All right, so you already know it's a Midwest showdown in the NFL today. The Bears and the Lions. And maybe you don't have your tailgating menu down yet. No, I tailgate outside right your house. Or maybe you want to mix Thanksgiving up a bit. Don't worry, Chicago chef, the culinary cutie has you covered. Tracy Williamson, thank you so much for coming in this morning. I'm glad to be here. Thank you for having me. So I got to ask her, Mark. Mm -hmm, you don't please. just get that name just up by oh, any fly-by oh, oh, night Oh, no, situation. no. That's, that's something that's lauded to you. It's yeah. awarded to you. Yeah, it, how you did know. you become yeah. the culinary cutie? So the, the honest truth is my best friend, Tiffany Gavin, we've been friends for over 30 years. She said, you are the culinary cutie. It was just that simple. <laughs> that's been there your name goes. ever since? Yes. No long story. Well, you better get a license plate and everything that goes with that. Yes. You know, right? I would yes. definitely get that trademark. Okay, uh -huh. so let's talk about what you brought. Um, uh -huh. Obviously, you started cooking at some point. Have you already yes. been cooking? And then what did you make for us? So I started cooking. I'll say my love for cooking started when I was around 10 or 11 years old. Mm -hmm. Just the love for food. Officially saying I'm doing this around 2006, 2007. Okay. And I had, you know, catering businesses, trying things mm -hmm. out. But you want to see if this is really what you want to do. Because right. cooking is not for the faint at heart. It's it not. really isn't. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a full contact sport, right? It is. What was it in that time period, 2006, that mm -hmm. made you go for it? Um, I think when I saw, obviously, people liking the food. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> that, a good thing. That was a good thing. That was <laughs> a good thing. You're making food they don't like, you know. <laughs> and it was, it was definitely, it's, a, it's, it's not for the faint at heart, but I loved the process, mm -hmm. and I loved the end result of seeing people happy and enjoying the food. I must say, you are the fittest uh, chef that I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And I'm just keeping it real. But you also have uh -huh. seasonings in a cookbook, too? Yes, I do. So I have a new cookbook I released this year, Cooking with the Culinary Cutie, 40 mm -hmm. delicious recipes, mm -hmm. and they're on my website. And Culin these are two of them here, huh? Yes, so I have seasonings, pepper seasonings. They're salt-free. Okay. Salt free. One is for meats and one for veggies. And you can use them interchangeably. So you're all purpose seasoning, but uh -huh. salt free. Because we got to bring that sodium level down. down right. yeah. Yeah, yeah, I believe we do. do Let me ask you mm -hmm. this, because I'm going to be honest with you. This is an area where I sort of struggle, okay. you know, is finding different recipes and what to cook. Mm -hmm. Is this easy for anybody to follow mm -hmm. when you, because that's usually my issue. I buy right. these cookbooks. Mm -hmm. They uh -huh. look really great in the store. They mm -hmm. have perfect covers. Mm -hmm. and I get them home and I'm like, this is hard to follow. Hard. Well, so certain recipes are, if you take it step by step, I won't say easy, but then there are others that may be a little bit more challenging. But the ones I have in my, my cookbook are pretty, we'll say they're attainable. Okay. All right. <laughs> and attainable. I got your number now, so right. I'm going to just call yes. you when I get to cooking. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's talk mm -hmm. about what you brought here today. Yes. So tailgating is still going on. Game day is tonight. Mm -hmm. It's game day today. Yeah. Yeah. It's all week. You know so wanted to just kind of suffice those who are having game day today. Salmon sliders. Salmon is a thing. It's always been for not, not for everybody. Yeah. Um, salmon sliders. This is super simple. You can put this salmon in the oven. Mm -hmm. You can walk away, but you need to come back and <laughs> check on it. Uh, you get your, your, uh, your slider buns real easy to purchase, mm -hmm. tomato, lettuce, a mayo. I made a, a spicy mayo to go on that. I have Harvardi mm -hmm. cheese on there, whatever cheese you like, your lettuce, and that's you it. You want one, don't you? I, I do. And okay. what kind of cheese did you yes. say is on there? Harvardi. Harvardi. Never heard yes. of that. No, me and yes. I, mean, I think I've had it, least. but didn't mm -hmm. really know like, yeah, maybe, what maybe I was probably eating. Yeah, okay. Um, yep. And uh -huh. then, so this what's is, uh, the key to mm. the mix-up on the turkey wings? So, uh, Thanksgiving is coming up, and we had fried turkey, baked turkey, uh, all type juicy turkey, some mm -hmm. dry turkey. We don't want <laughs> yeah. it dry. Um, so just a different spin. These are turkey wings, a little easier to eat mm -hmm. and manage. Honey glazed mm -hmm. turkey wings. They're thick, oh. too. Yes, and pretty much in the <laughs> oven. The key to any protein, though, you want to make sure you brine them to make brine sure them. you make yeah. sure they continue to be juicy once you cook them. Should we brine the turkey? I, I, I think yeah. you should. Okay, y'all you know, yes. speak in another mm -hmm. language. Mm -hmm. What is brining for so, those that may be home and they're like, so, so it's a process. You're using, you're using either vinegar, <laughs> something that's breaking down the membranes of the meat okay. to kind of tenderize it, but for a long, longer period of time. So people may use vinegar. You can use mustard. You can use lemon juice, lime nice. juice, and different seasonings. Mm. And you also can, you people are injecting Turkey, yeah. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you yes, can do that at that time as well, but make sure you do it for a long period of time. Okay. So it's like they're marrying together. Tia has mm -hmm. talked about how, you know, she doesn't like turkey because a lot of times it's dry. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking honey glazed. Is that yeah. a thing? Can so I it's, glaze yeah. it's an orange glaze. I made an orange glaze sauce with actual fresh orange juice. Mm -hmm. oh. um, and I've basted it. Slot that on. Basted yeah, it a little bit. Over here. Basted yeah, go it. Ahead. I'm going to yep. move the, this. <laughs> put I that over here. I'm listening. I'm going to sit that down. I'm going to come back to that. I basted it. Uh, base it the turkey mm -hmm. uh, with, right with the, that's mm -hmm. good, it's nice and tender. Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Thank Tia you. likes it. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. <laughs> yeah, look, uh -huh. you know, and it's mm -hmm. beautifully displayed too. Here, Thank you've you. really garnished it very nicely. And you know, sometimes, <laughs> especially when you're dealing with you know kids, that's half the battle, right? That's that's true. That's mm -hmm. true. Because they just want to give me my food, and that's it. <laughs> now my mouth is full. I ain't got to talk. Yeah. I'm happy that yep. you came on. I want to try this too. Yes. Uh, yes. How can people learn more about you before we let you go? Of course, my website culinarycutie.com, and I'm on every social media platform out mm -hmm. there. I go live quite often on TikTok. So you can Excellent. catch me cooking on live. Um, so Instagram, we know social media is the thing. Yeah. So culinary cutie, and you can find and look for this face. All right, we'll remember that face and this food because it's yeah. absolutely delicious. Yeah, and and I need to know what you're eating because mm -hmm. I do go you, to the gym. You looking good, girl. I do Keep go to the coming. gym. Thank All right, you. we'll be right back. <laughs>